No excuse and get motivated to actual. This is the most important actual of this course. Of course, I always say that, that this is the most important actual, but this one actually is. There's a bunch of people out there and it probably includes yourself sometimes. Well, you are just like, don't want to do nothing. Or you think that you, you're just like, okay, let me take this class, but I'm not sure about getting motivated, getting doing this. What am I going to get out of this? Like there's all this self-doubt in people. A lot of people who are not successful, that's their number one trait. They don't do nothing. They're not somebody who is willing to take the time to study something, to get something done and to get paid for it. In fact, that's what separates the 1% from the 99%. It is the ability to do something. It doesn't matter if you fail. What matters is that if you keep on trying or if you give up. The worst thing you can do for yourself is to give up and to think that you can't actually do this. Because that's a very bad negative self-defeating attitude. You gotta think positive all the time. Even if you are a negative person, you gotta force yourself to think positive in order for everything to become positive in your life. So positive attracts positive. Negative thinking attracts negative thinking. This is why positive thinking is the way for you to be successful. You gotta think positive in every situation, no matter how bad it is, because eventually you will find a way out. So there is no excuse for you. There is like really no excuse for you why you can't make money on Fiverr. And in fact, it doesn't matter what you wanna try to make money in. There is no excuse for you not to do it. If you have time, and even if you don't have time, you can always find extra time for you to study. You have to force yourself sometimes to do this because eventually the reward is going to come to you later. So for me, for example, I had to force myself hundreds of different times to be successful and to get what I want to get in my life. And a lot of times I didn't even know that I could get what I wanted to get because there was times where I was in a deep bottom. And it happened to me a lot quite often and I had to climb all the way to the top. Think about life as a mountain, like a humongous mountain that you gotta climb. And the bigger the mountain, the better the view from the top of the mountain actually is. So once you get to the top of this mountain, you might be tempted to go into another mountain and see the view from that one. So this is what you have to do. You gotta think positive, you gotta climb over humongous obstacles to get to your goal. And in fact, the bigger the obstacle in front of you, the more challenging it is to get where you wanna get. This is why money is the ultimate reward. Because eventually, with this specific money, you can buy yourself something to show that you actually did a great job. So if you want to get a brand new car, this could be your reward. If you want to get a nice, awesome house, you got to work a lot harder. This is not something you can just get overnight, but you have to put a lot of effort to get the better rewards in life. So either you get a lot of small rewards and you just spend all the money you got, or oh, you're gonna save up every single dollar after you own it from hard work. And then you're gonna go and make a lot more money with it. So this is called investing. Investing means you're putting money aside, you're putting it into something that's gonna give you more money in the future. So education is one way for you to do this. Another way, of course, is for you to become a lot more smarter person. You can go to college. If you haven't done this before, I highly suggest for you to do this. And it is expensive. I went to college, it cost me a huge amount of money, but the knowledge I gained from it is very, very valuable by listening to professors telling you a lot of things that you can't get it out from ordinary books. In fact, they made me read huge amount of books because I am a history major. So I'm just letting you know a few things that you could do to be a successful and the most important thing out there, I want you to have no excuse for yourself not to be a successful person. You know why? Because I believe in you. In fact, if you ended up getting all the way here to this lecture and you keep on listening to me, that means that you want to hear this and that means you want to do something with your life. And this is very, very important. So if you're willing 
and you're listening right now, I want you to take a piece of paper out and write down the three things you want to actually accomplish in your life. Write them down right now on a piece of paper. And then after you write it down, fold this piece of paper up and put it somewhere and don't touch it for a long time. Because when you're really, really going to have like a bad day or you're not really motivated to do something, open that piece of paper up and take a look at the things you want to get accomplished and get going at it. Now, on the other side of that piece of paper, make sure you write down three different kind of rewards you want to give yourself once you do accomplish those things that you wrote down on it. So this is going to be your roadmap. That's it. It's going to be this simple. I want you to do it. I want you to get this list down and I want you to do this list as soon as you can because I want you to be successful. So think of three positive things you want to do to change your life for the better.